why are you applying to our school? Man, if, if there is an essay that I wish medical schools would give up on, it's this one because this essay is tough. It is a hard essay. It is very, very, in my opinion, contrived. It's a really artificial thing. You know, if I was a medical school dean, I knew, I know up front that whenever I ask why are you applying to school, you're going to give me some BS reason that basically said, oh, your school's the best ever and blah, blah, blah. And it's so beautiful. And, uh, right. I, I get it. I get that. It's so easy to BS your way through this essay that I, I really can't believe medical schools spend a whole lot of time and energy looking at this answer. Unless, unless you're able to transcend all the BS and write something really credible, write something really like valuable. So, you know, what would that be? What, what could you possibly say other than, you know, I want to go to your school because my mom's dean. That's a good reason. Okay, I get that. Um, I think, you know, I, I, as, as I wrote in the, in the guidebook, the, probably the, the most terrible reason why you want to go to a particular medical school is because it's geographically convenient. You know, I, I live here. Let's say you live in Los Angeles. I want to go to UCLA or USC because it's 20 minutes from my house. My mom will do my laundry. It's perfect. Which basically says, I really don't have any reason to go to you. I just have a reason to stay home. It's not really a great motivation. There's no connection there at all. So what would be good? You know, what would really, really be good? I, I would love it if every student who writes this essay, if you could say something like, you know, the research project or the patient uh, contact experience that I had, you know, during that experience, those experiences, I met so-and-so. I met Professor Smith, Dr. Smith. And Dr. Smith is best friends with Dr. Jones, Professor Jones. In fact, they were roommates in medical school. And Professor Jones and I have talked and, you know, I really think he's the best and he's got this great project that he's working on that I want to be a part of. And Professor Jones is a professor at your medical school. I want to go, I want to study under Professor Jones and that's why I'm applying to your program. God, I would love that. It would be great if every single essay could be that. I don't think that's realistic. I don't think that's practical. Not everybody has those relationships. So what do you do? You build them? I would love it if you are watching this, if you are lucky enough to have gotten this content early enough along the way that you have, you know, six months or a year to build this relationship out, man, that would be beautiful. But I don't think it's practical. I don't think it's going to happen very often. Okay, so what's reality? What's realistic? If you're not going to do the geography thing, um, you know, certainly I don't want you to, you know, BS uh, an admissions committee. So that means the whole like, your, your architecture is beautiful, your landscaping is beautiful, you know, blah, 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 the campus is beautiful. All that, be, I mean, that's a bunch of bull, right? Who cares? Really, medical schools know that if you get an acceptance, you're going to go. If you get multiple acceptances, okay, different problem. But if you get one acceptance, you're going to go to wherever you go. I don't care about the architecture. So what can you say? What can, what can you really say that would really work? And you're going to have to find something. You're going to have to go out and you know, hopefully it's on their website. But if not, you are gonna have to dig around on the net or, you know, if it's if the school is close enough, you call them or get a connection somehow with the students, the med students there. And you're going to have to actually figure out, OK, like what the heck is a good connection between me and the school? What would that look like? What could that be? Um, I know there are a couple examples that have worked in the past. One, one great example is to figure out that their, the medical school already has, say, a free clinic program set up. Multiple clinics around the underserved populations within the community where they, the medical school exists. And you're absolutely already, you have lots of experience and it shows all over your application that you're working in that same underserved population, maybe in a different part of the country, but that same population. And man, you really want to get and continue your involvement. That's ideal. That I think would be fantastic. What else could there be? Well, you know, if it's not a clinic, you know, then maybe there's some kind of of uh, travel opportunity, some kind of international 
uh, experience opportunity that's available to you. And so the medical school has this program where you get to go out for a length of time at some point in your medical training and maybe, you know, visit another medical school or go to another part of the world and study medicine in that region under the, the supervision of, you know, a doctor or, or a faculty member of that medical school. That would be great. If you can find that, that would be awesome. But what if you can't? What if there's absolutely like nothing? So that's when you really have to call the medical school, get connection with a med student. I personally like for you to get a hold of uh, the president or an officer at least uh, for the American Medical Student Association med student chapter for that med school. Uh, and talk to that person. And the reason why I want you to talk to an officer is because they're pretty well connected. They have to be, they're so involved with different aspects of the school. And basically ask the questions like, you know, what might I find that could be a good fit between me and the school? If you can get a hold of that med student, either by email or by phone, a phone is ideal, but I know, you know, med students are terribly busy. It's gonna be hard to reach them. But if you can do that, man, that would be awesome. Because then you can interview him or her and say, look, how can I find a fit here? Give me some ideas, a few minutes, man, you'll, have, you'll get a connection. And you, once you have that connection, the essay becomes you know, very, very easy to write. So that is the Why This School essay.